So it's my great pleasure to talk with you about the fifth and final Presidential Innovation Fellows Project, the Open Data Initiatives Program. And I'd like to start by talking about the weather, or more specifically, weather data. So decades ago, the government made a key decision, which was to actually make all the weather data it was collecting downloadable electronically by anybody for free. What then happened is that free fuel powered an enormous rising tide of innovation in the private sector. Entrepreneurs who picked up that data and turned it into the Weather Channel, Weather.com, iPhone weather apps, weather insurance, and much more. Growing the economy, creating jobs, and adding a lot of value to all of our lives. The government ran a similar play in the 80s when President Reagan began the process of liberating access, civilian and commercial access, to the global positioning system, GPS, which of course now has spawned everything from navigation systems to precision crop farming to Foursquare on your iPhone and everything in between. In fact, actually last year alone, it's estimated that civilian and commercial access to GPS created $90 billion of value for the American economy. Growing jobs, growing the economy, and improving all of our lives in immeasurable ways. And so we love this play. We love this play of basically without legislation, without regulation, without actually really spending a ton of money, right, taking data that's sitting in the vaults of the government that taxpayers already paid for and jujitsuing it into the public domain as machine-readable fuel that American entrepreneurs can take and turn into magic, turn into all kinds of new products, services that help improve American lives, create jobs, and grow the economy. So that's what the Open Data Initiatives program is all about, is expanding and accelerating the work to liberate data as fuel for American entrepreneurship and innovation. We're focused on these seven sectors. Uh, health is actually an area where through the Health Data Initiative, we've been liberating health-related data, information resources, uh, for a few years now, uh, with hundreds of companies, large and small, taking that data and turning it into all kinds of products that help you pick the right hospital or doctor for your family, connect to a clinical trial that could save your life, help doctors deliver better care, uh, help you manage your asthma using the latest medical knowledge and much more. We just kicked off in May a safety data initiative. Uh, we kicked off actually a couple months ago a energy data initiative, an education data initiative. I see folks on that team here in the room for the Department of Education. We will shortly be launching an impact data initiative focused on nonprofit sector related data, a global development data initiative focused on food security and other key topics, and a finance data initiative as well. And the whole idea is not just to liberate data, okay? Because data by itself is useless, right? I can't feed my baby's data. I can't pour data on a wound and heal it, right? I can't actually uh, pour data on a road and fix it. Data is only useful if it's applied. So you do actually have to make new data available. That's actually very helpful. You also need to take existing public data that may be available, but in books, PDFs, static websites that are useless to a developer, and actually make it available in forms that are useful to a developer, right? Bulk downloadable files, you know, liquid machine readable data, accessible through APIs, basically forms that are usable by developers. You have to do that too. But if you just do that, you've accomplished actually some of what you need, but not all. And the last thing you need to do is you need to actually engage the people that you hope will use the data, will apply the data to create tangible benefit for the American people. Engage with the entrepreneurs and innovators, uh, spread the word about the data that's available, Get their feedback on what can be improved about, what feedback actually uh, would be useful uh, to make uh, uh, new data resources available, uh, so on and so forth. Celebrate what they're doing, spread the word about what they're doing, and catalyze a chain reaction of innovation that continually expands the array of services, products, features, benefits produced for the American people, uh, produced by entrepreneurs using our data in a way that actually improves lives and creates jobs.